Okay, let's see if I can't um, put this gimbal together now. Um, first thing I did though is I I just disconnected these springs from from the uh, place where they were connected down here. So I think it's going to be easier to put this thing on. Um, a little confusing because I'm not quite sure which direction this is supposed to be facing here. Um, it does go <coughs> between these two mounts right here. So we got to take these screws out and then this will go there. Let me just look at a couple of pictures first though. I think I need to figure out if this is supposed to go in that direction or in this direction. Now I think this is the front. So let me just take a minute and take a look and see if I can figure that out. Now I actually had this whole thing together and then when I was looking at the video it didn't look like I had it right based on the video that had um, from the from zero. So I took it all apart, put it back together, and realized that that was the wrong way. So let me just show you what I think will help if you're trying to put this together and figuring out what I'm doing or what they're doing on there. Just remember, this is the front here, so that might orient you. The one with the two holes is the front. But when you mount this, mount it so that this uh, pivot point is basically centered, you know, on the um, on the bracket where the uh, springs have to be attached. It's pretty straightforward. If you do it that way, you're not going to run into any problems. So if you look at this, let me just straighten everything out here. Okay, so that's right in the middle there. So these springs now will go and attach pretty easily. So. If they go to the second hole, I believe, in, on that right there. So I'm going to go ahead and put this back on and then hook up the springs again. Now, I also ran into some problems with the springs. This one spring here actually broke with the very tip on it. They're really kind of hard to get on here. They're pretty horsey and I don't know any good way other than just basically just muscling them on there. Um, so be careful. <clears throat> I'm going to have to get a replacement for this, but for now I guess it'll have to work. Right, the other thing I didn't do that it might make some sense, um, I'm not using Loctite. Um, I didn't see that they actually recommended it at all, but it uh, might be a good idea to use Loctite on all these, all these uh, non-self-locking uh, bolts and nuts. Um, Right now, I think I'm just going to go ahead and put them together without the Loctite, but um, I'm going to have to go back and check and make sure everything is tight. And if I'm finding out that things are getting loosened up here, I'll have to take these this thing back apart and and um, Loctite all these <coughs> all these screws and bolts. So um, again, I won't make you sit through while I put these screws in here and hook up the the uh, springs. But if I run into any other issues, I will let you know. Um, and uh, we'll go from there. So this is the part that the camera mount will go to. So this one's going to go on here. I think it goes on this way. I'm going to have to double check that. Try to figure out if it makes a difference which way it goes on. Either like this or like this. Anyways, we've got this thing on now. It still doesn't look the same as what they have on the picture there, but uh, I think they must have made some modifications or something. But it feels pretty smooth and seems to be working properly. So now I think, again, this is the forward side and this is the bottom, I think. So, um,. So I'm going to put this baby on like so. And for now, I'm just going to make it line up on the bottom here because I don't know exactly where it's supposed to line up. And then we'll tighten that up.
Now we can also put this on. Uh, this is the uh, battery mount here, so we can just throw that on there just so we remember which side's which here. <coughs> I guess this uh, clamp just goes down and tightens it up once you figure out where you're going to put it. But it have to balance this thing out. So, okay, now we have to put this on. So let me just take a picture, uh, take a look at the pictures, see if we can't figure out if it's supposed to go this way or this way. Um, and then I will come back. All right, best I can tell, this piece is out this way. So we will put it on that way. I guess there's no washers required for this thing, so I guess we'll just put it right on there. Not sure how tight to make these. It's got a nice soft rubber piece under there, so I'm not going to over tighten these because I think it's isolating the camera somewhat there. Okay. Okay, this is the front of my aircraft here. So we've got these um, these four bolts here that we have to remove <clears throat> in order to um, mount this gimbal here. So we're going to mount this with the two holes toward the forward side. <clears throat> Again, if I mounted something backwards here, I guess I'll just have to go back and and redo it. I don't know how tight this is supposed to be either on here. But maybe what I'll do is just go a tiny bit more than I just did, but not much. And again, I don't know if I should be using Loctite on these or not. <coughs> 